हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ जील भट्ट एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल जील्स फार्मेसी ट्यूटोरियल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सिंपैथोमाइमेटिक ड्रग्स बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सिंपैथोमाइमेटिक ड्रग्स द ड्रग्स दैट प्रोड्यूस द इफेक्ट्स व्हिच आर सिमिलर टू द रिस्पोंसेस फ्रॉम द एड्रेनर्जिक नर्व्स आर कॉल्ड सिंपैथोमाइमेटिक ड्रग्स thus they stimulate the sympathetic actions in our body now let us see the classification of sympathomimetic drugs they could be classified on two different bases first is chemical classification and the second is based on the mechanism of action so now first let us have a look on the chemical classification in the chemical classification sympathomimetic drugs could be categorized into two types first is catecholamines and second is non catecholamines so the first is catecholamines they contain catechol nucleus in their structure example is adrenaline and noradrenaline this is the structure of adrenaline which contains the catechol nucleus in it now the second is non catecholamines they do not contain catechol nucleus in their structure example is tyramine ephedrine etc Now this is the structure of tyramine and it does not contain any catechol nucleus in its structure. Now the second type of classification is based on the mechanism of action. In this type of classification sympathomimetic drugs can be divided into two types. First is the directly acting drugs and second is indirectly acting drugs. Now first let us have a look on the directly acting drugs. Directly acting drugs can be classified into three types. first is specific alpha agonist second is specific beta agonist and the third is mixed alpha and beta agonist now specific alpha agonist can again be classified into three types first is the specific alpha 1 agonist second is specific alpha 2 agonist and the third is mixed alpha 1 and alpha 2 agonist the examples of specific alpha 1 agonist are methoxamine phenylephedrine etc the example of the specific alpha 2 agonist are clonidin the example of mixed alpha 1 and alpha 2 agonist are noradrenaline now specific beta agonist can again be classified into four types first is the specific beta 1 agonist second is specific beta 2 agonist third is specific beta 3 agonist and the fourth is mixed beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 agonist the example of specific beta 1 agonist is dobutamine the example of specific beta 2 agonist is salbutamol the example of specific beta 3 agonist is still under the research work and hence it is coded as brl34377 the example of mixed beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3 agonist is isoprenaline Now the third was mixed alpha and beta agonist. The example of mixed alpha and beta agonist is adrenaline. Now let us see the classification of indirectly acting drugs. Indirectly acting drugs can be classified into three types. First is the drugs that release the transmitter. Then the second is uptake blockers, and the third is enzyme inhibitors. The examples of the drug that release transmitter are tyramine and ephedrine. The example of the uptake blockers is reserpine. And the third is the enzyme inhibitors. The enzyme inhibitors can again be classified into two types. First is the monoamino oxidase enzyme inhibitors and the second is catechol O methyl transferase enzyme inhibitors. So this was all about the definition and classification of parasympathomimetic drugs. Thank you.